Hi, everyone. This is probably my most experimental live I have ever done. So welcome in advance. Um, I'm working on making grab bags of check strands for the shop. We sh showed a bunch in our live sale yesterday. So we now have to make those check strands. So I thought it might be fun while I work on this the next hour to hang with y'all while I make some of them. So I'm gonna, I, I set up the camera so you can like see the whole station. And this is gonna be our like bonus live of the day. If you have questions about anything bead related or any other thing, <laughs> anything else, you can hit me with them right now and I'll try to answer questions as I go make the grab bags. And you can kind of like give me your opinions on the grab bags. <laughs> so let's try this. Welcome to the most experimental live something of Sam's Bead Shop. So our final goal today is to make up a whole bunch of these grab bags that have these, these five miller ones. There's 13 strands in a bag and we try to do a nice mix. So I went ahead and sorted them all by color so that I can more easily make the grab bags with a nice distribution of color. So I can't multitask. This is noted the group. So I'm gonna make a couple, maybe answer a question if anyone has any fun questions. This could be kind of like an informal Q&A and we'll see how this goes. Welcome, welcome. All right, we need 13 strands in the pack. So one, two, three, four. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. This last tub are just things I thought were extra pretty, and I wanted everyone to try to hopefully at least get one of these cool beads. Anyone, do anyone, double check my math as I went there. I feel like I didn't actually make it to thirteen. Six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. First one. Colleen says, are the grab bags for sale in the shop? So Colleen, they are not for sale on the website as of yet, but we do have, let's see what Colleen, we've got the six millimeter ones we have available and we have, we sold out of the five millimeter ones, but there's not a, there's no wait list currently. So my hunch is that some will become available. I actually put info in this post in case anyone wanted to comment for one. You want to like just comment register like you normally would. Just so you connect it to that'll work. Okay. So the five millimeter is sold B. And then I probably won't even get to the six millimeter yet. That would be sold A. And these we have a bunch available of. So the six millimeter is 10 mixed strands. These are just a couple of the colors. We have like dozens and dozens of colors. 10 strands for 12 bucks, 25 pieces to a strand, 10 strands for 12 bucks, that's sold A. So those, we, we, we still have a lot of the six millimeter, six millimeter available. We have at least, we have many dozens of packs of these that we'll be able to make. The five millimeter are baker's dozens for 12 bucks. And that's what we're sold out of, but we don't have a wait list. So I have a hunch if you join the wait list right now, um, you would probably get it. So comment sold B for the five millimeter. Now I must start making these boxes or I will never get any done. <laughs> Alrighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, done. Come on, beads. Got a, got a few beads in front of me today. Just a, just a couple beads. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, I feel like I just dropped one, 12, 13, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. Perfect. One more, done. Let's see if we have any comments. So while we, <laughs> while I make these, I want to, it could also be a Q and A if you're just joining. So if you have a question, um, hit us in the comments right now. Lynn, if you're watching, maybe you could just yell the comments at me if we have questions. Oh. Lynn's watching while she's bagging up beadbox items. How are you doing, Lynn? Great. Good to see you. Mary says, I want to help. Um, pop on over, Mary. <laughs> More help the barrier. Three, five, uh, what did it be? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Uh, what color do we need? More of 13. Is that a question from you, Lid? Yes. Am I starting the same spot? No. I'm just, I have to grab, the goal is I have to grab at least one from each bin. Uh -huh. But because there's 13 in a pack, m multiple bins I have to grab two of. And how are you deciding which bin you're picking two from? The ones I have more of. So our blues, greens, pinks, and have a little bit more. So that's how I'm thinking they'll get more of these bright colors, which is actually kind of nice. One, two, three, four, Oh, I love these. These remind me of remind me of some English cuts I used to have in the shop. Those are so pretty. Six, seven, eight, nine, Lynn, you're wanting some help on the beatbox. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Someone tell me how, what you're doing today. Anyone doing something extra fun? Anyone beating right now? Today has been a slower day. We just got a bubble wrap delivery. So that was fun. We have a wall of bubble wrap now. We will, <laughs> we are dang near about going to run out. And that would be a catastrophe at Sam's Beach Shop to be out of bubble wrap. See, I'm not counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Anna Marie is taking pictures of jewelry pieces. <laughs> Donna's watching Sam make grab bags. <laughs> Andrew is beating with sugar schools. What, Lynn? Hey, Lynn. <laughs> Lynn's not being nice. Hey, Lynn, tell me I'm sorry, Lynn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, these are Katie funky. Katie because she wants to know what's going on. What's, what's happening? We're doing our strangest live we've ever done at the shop. I am simply making grab bags because we I had these in the live sale yesterday and we have just so many to make so these these five millimeter are like packs of 13 strands we're doing by the baker's dozen so let's make sure i did that one right two four six eight ten twelve thirteen strands and done <laughs> Ooh, a mukite necklace i love mukite Mary, will you show us your final project in just Nothing's on stream yet. All righty, we're back. <laughs> that was strange. It just went black, and now we're back. Katie says, I made my first purchase in your shop. Sam, I can't wait to get it. Oh, yay, Katie. I hope you love it. We ship on starting on Wednesday, so your timing is good. We'll be pulling your order tomorrow. Oh, 
<laughs> truly. Ah. All right, one, two, three, four. Cynthia said it's not falling up for sale. Is it, is it the, did you comment for one? It's not in your cart? Just say we, we're all, can you double check that we're all working? Um, if you commented for the five millimeter, Cynthia, it would have gone to your wait list. But if you commented for the six millimeter, which was sold A, it would be on your, um, in your cart. Because I know we got lots of the six millimeter available. Two, four, six, seven. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Lynn has a question. What's your question, Lynn? Has anyone made anything from the new box yet? Has anyone made from our October bead box? I, I saw some folks are sh starting to share. Oh. So maybe they weren't registered? Or Cynthia, looks like it is working. So just make sure you comment register and have your account set up before you comment. And if you have an issue, just message the page and we can help you out. Jesse's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Black owl earrings. Andrea makes some black owl earrings. Ooh, Andrea. Please share with us. Everyone gets the one pair, so I wanted to. It'll be very interesting to see how folks choose to use their pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Look at these pearlized ones. Thirteen. Let's see. Yeah, Sabrina, we wanted to put more, but obviously in a bead box, we're trying to include a lot of different items each month. So it becomes this balancing game of like, if you want to put more items, but you can't necessarily put like, for certain items cost a lot more, like those owls are a specialty item that costs kind of an arm, arm and a leg, if you know from, I also carry those in the shop. Um, so sometimes with the, with the nicer items, we really like want to include those sorts of nice items. We just can only include so many. So we're like, what if it, it could be fun if we included like a pair of the black ones, a player pair of the white ones, instead of say like a five piece set of one color was the idea there. Okay, two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Anna Marie says, my favorite color is purple, but eyes are drawn to the blues. Yes, if you're watching, which tub is, I like this idea, which tub is calling your name today? We have our pink tub, green tub, blue tub. Uh, it says orange and reds, browns, black, white, some peacock. This is like some neutral sparkly things. And this is our free for all bin. We did a similar type grab bag thing way back when with various table cut and pressed beads. And I wanna try to get that again. Um, Cause that in those bags we did like five mixed strands of all sorts of different shapes of flowers and things. And that was a lot of fun. Alrighty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight boxes are going to ten, eleven, hold on, twelve, thirteen. Are they going to mostly say beads? I'm thinking about subscribing. Yeah, so Katie, the bead boxes are largely going to stay similar to what we've been doing. Um, we experimented with more metals, but we really found that we liked including the USA medals more and folks like like those a lot more so we're, well, we're going to stick with that and keep the USA medals but because they cost a bit more we just include basically like a couple pieces of those so yeah the boxes will be stay pretty similar we really are going to try to ver keep varying up the shapes 
and just, we're always scouring for new, new th things that feel new. So you can always count on having like 12 to 15 check items, like three to five gemstones, a couple metals. That's kind of always what the box is, is at least for now, is going to be. And I don't really see it evolving too far from there in the short term. Where are we? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Lynn, I appreciate you bringing the questions. <laughs> You're better at multitasking than I. Uh oh, we have a loose shirt in there. Loose cannon, folks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, if anyone wants to beat along while I work on this, maybe I can, we can keep each other company. This is like our bead ASMR day. <laughs> All I'm doing is sorting beads. I find it, I actually quite enjoy it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's do a bonus green. Thirteen. Sabrina says Lynn does a fabulous job. I agree. Lynn is very meticulous in her work, so she really helps keep the quality control up for the boxes, which is super important. Lynn is a customer herself and subscriber of, of various bead boxes. So where did I get these from? Probably here. So like she knows what she likes and what to look for. She's and you're even being for years. So when she's like going, Lynn worked on the owls and like, like went through all the owls and made sure all the owls were smiling. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with check beads, like things, things are to come up. They, they, they try to quality sort them before they make, put them onto strands and send them over. But like they're working, they're making hunt, like, hundreds and hundreds of strands of the same item usually at the one time it's a lot smaller than say like a like a big factory would because ch check beads are made in like essentially family homes in Jabalinek, czech republic um but you still we still find things and we gotta we try to sort them out as much as possible and it, really likes this month's mix that you let her know that you that was a custom one that you, you and your teacher made that you didn't buy it already mixed yeah um yeah, the bead mix is, I was liking this month too. My sister and I picked out every single bead that went into it. And some of the beads were just ones we wanted to put in the box, but either like there weren't enough or we <laughs> already had too many items in the box or over budget. So we're like, hey, let's put in the mix and we can still give it to them. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, geez. 10. <laughs> I need colors I all have. 11, 12, 13. Okay, I'm gonna, we'll make a couple more and then let's see if anyone have any fun Q jewelry making Q&As. Or you can ask some fun fact questions and we'll see what, what Lid and I can throw back at you. A lot of people like those clear leaves in the mix. The clear leaves with the black leaves. Weren't those gorgeous? I love those. My sister found those leaves. Those are really special. I've never seen a bead like that. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, we're moving right along now. Asking for some ideas for themes for upcoming Ooh. boxes. Not just colors, but themes. Does anyone have theme ideas for upcoming boxes? Lynn is asking. Not just colors, but themes. So like Beyond a color palette. I would love to see a jungle theme. A jungle theme? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I would love to see jungle theme. Wait, you gotta write all these down, Jesse. These these are great. A jungle theme. So what is the what do you, what does the jungle theme look like to you? Um, I think like very like a lot a lot of greens. Yeah. A lot of blues. And then some earth tones mixed in. And maybe a pop of bright here and there. 
Yeah. It's almost oh, like, like, like brownie sunburst. Oh, almost like a like a toucan or like a parrot yeah. is in your is in the jungle. Oh, I love that. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, we need one more. How about a peacock one? Thirteen. Jesse, could you help Susie cook out? Susie, Jesse will help you out. I actually just didn't have that. Oh, Jesse had already typed a response to you, Susie. I haven't even seen Susie's comment yet. Oh, cool. If you're just joining, we are making the grab bags. A military theme. What does a military theme look like? Would that be like, kind of like camo style? Military, uh, Mary, what is what do you envision for that? Donna says two whole beads. Yeah, we haven't done a lot of two whole beads because I wasn't sure um, if we had a lot of seed beaters. And I generally associate two whole beads more with seed beating, even though obviously you can use two whole beads in other ways. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. Starry night, Starry night. That is that would be gorgeous. There's a lot. There's a lot of colors in Starry Night, isn't there? Yeah. That could be fun. Yeah, I've been liking the boxes when they're not just like a minimal number of colors. I feel like it. It's more interesting when there's a little bit more variety. Like the meditation had like a variety even of like green tones within it. I just think it gives a lot more options of designing. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I gotta make my comments bigger. I can't even read them from here. Let's see. What? Okay, thank you, Lid. <laughs> Everything that does. Oh, a Brazilian carnival. Carnaval. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I was like, we haven't done like a Mardi Gras box either. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Have you had other ideas, Jesse? What's that? Have you had other box ideas? Have you been sitting with the jungle idea for a bit? Um, I actually just thought of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> How timely. Yeah. I don't know why it just like popped into my head. And... Hey, I want some hints for next month's box. Hints for next month. Ha ha. <laughs> it's good. It takes, you gotta, uh-uh. I gave like one hint last time and Lid yelled at me. <laughs> that was a huge hint. It wasn't just a hint. I said it was glamorous. Did I really give away the box? Yes. I, I see. Don't really know the box, but I think it was a, a little too detailed. Glamorous. Yeah. Oh darn it! Well, I thought it was a fun hit. <laughs> we always get so many people who want a hint, and then I feel like if I actually spoiled the box, I would get even more people yelling at me. So it's one of those things. I'm like, I should probably keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Really, we're only at eleven. A desert island. Twelve, thirteen. That person gets three green strands. A desert island. Oh, so Mary replied for the military thing: camo and flags. Anything military. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, whoop, twelve, thirteen. Okay, folks, what do you think of our color mix so far? Pretty wide variety in there. It's a safari theme, and it sounds like the jungle. We've got safari, but safari is drier. Yeah. 
Because yeah, like, it's similar, but that's a different type. It's, it's almost like rusted Native American palette. That is an interesting idea. Like what colors? Um, like, I'm gonna vary colors, like Utah, Colorado, candy colors. 10, 11, 12. Keep these ideas coming. Tribal or African theme? Ooh, yeah. I do love the, those sorts of textures. It'd be cool to be able to include some like Ghana glass, like some African trade beads one month. Oh yeah. I we definitely could do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got beads flying everywhere, y'all. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> These beads do not want to stay there. Heather said yes to the trade beads. That would be fun. It would definitely be different than what we have, but we did do one month with some sea glass, so occasional sprinkling of other things, but I do think check glass will always be like the forefront just because the quality is so good and they have all these so many pretty shapes. Uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, we're making stacks of beans. It's almost four o'clock already. Anyone on the East Coast starting to cook dinner? Tell me what you're making. Make me hungry. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What art? What do you say? Pop art. Just says pop art. Like graffiti type. Inspired? You can do that too. Yeah. I want to know what you mean by pop art. Uh, what the Warhol has. Oh, a Warhol box. See, there's so many directions we could go. You could follow. My my aunt always likes to suggest various paintings because she was an art history major, and she she has all these different palette ideas coming from paintings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now we're making headway. Carol made chicken pot pies. Carol, I love chicken pot pies. There's something so perfect about a chicken pot pie. Do you make your dough from scratch or do you use what do you use? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. If you're just joining us, I think we're because we're live on Facebook and YouTube right now. Um, we are assembling grab bags, and we have some available if you're interested. But you, only if you're on Facebook can you actually comment for them. Um, you want to join the waitlist for our six millimeter grab bags, which is 10 strands for 12 bucks. You want to comment register, set up your account, and then comment sold A for a pack of those or five. Look at those AB crystal ones. And then we're currently sold out of the five millimeter ones I'm working on right now. But you can join the waitlist because I think some will become available. And that's sold B. CC Rond on YouTube says this box is amazing. Heck yeah. Have you made from it yet, Rhonda? Okay, two orange. Two blue. Well, so she usually makes her crust from scratch, but since she threw her back out, she had to buy crusts. I bet they're still pretty tasty. Susie says, it's not showing up in my cart. Susie, if you want to message the page, if you go to on Facebook, message the Sam's Beach Shop page, Jesse is, can totally help you out. Um, 
boxes made with the years, like the 60s, the 80s, the 1900s, the 1980s. That's a, a decades box. Like a 90s box? Yeah. An 80s box? Oh, I love it. Jesse, write that one down. Um, Katie says, are the live items available on the yeah, website? Really. We could do like a... <laughs> Jesse's getting excited. What's the what's that book about like the nineteen what twenties? And there's a, the Great Gatsby box. I don't know what colors that would be. Wouldn't be too dissimilar from October's box, probably. Yeah, I mean it's like, you know, black tie. Lots of maybe lots of silver. Gold. Yeah. I want like a golden or a copper box. Like something like that in that realm. Six, okay, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, okay, twelve, thirteen. Let's do one more, and I'm happy to talk, tell you about the live sale stuff. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, yeah, Katie, we do live sales twice a week um on here on like same place here here on the page so that's mondays and thursdays at 5 p.m pacific 8 p.m eastern and you had a more specific question yeah, yeah i'm not sure how the live sales work are the live sales items available on the website so the live sales are like the where the first place that we show the new items always basically Maybe there's some exceptions to that, but like generally, if you want to see the new items, you come to the live sales. And then whatever doesn't sell the live sales, Jesse then photographs um, and puts on the website. But that obviously is not instant because <laughs> he does really nice photos and it takes a little bit of time. Um, I think what generally within, if for a live sale, within one or two weeks? Um, right now it's about uh, like a week and a half. Just is about a week and a half later, anything left goes to the website. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that's like the that's the basis of how it works. And then it's not dissimilar to what I was talking about. It like if you register, just literally by commenting register, and then my page will message you. A button to set up your account um, and then you just comment to purchase the items you want and I, I, I always talk about at the beginning of each live sale how how to comment and whatnot one two three four five six seven eight nine oh to check it right after the live sales. So any, with anything on my website or with the live sales, when you add something to your cart, um, assuming you're logged in, like if you're on the website, you gotta be actually logged in for this to work. Um, items will save for you for like 90 plus hours. Um, so you can, you don't have to check out immediately. So you can shop the live and then the items that you claim are held for you. So it means you don't have to like constantly be checking out during the live sale. So like the item items are held for you is at the end of the live sale, then I recommend you can go ahead and check out and we will ship out your goodies. Uh, we yeah, we ship on a weekly schedule to because we get this is kind of requested because we do the two live sales. Folks like to have orders from both live sales ship in the same package to save on shipping cost. There are a couple suggestions one's new york city and one is northern lights new york city northern lights why do i feel like i've heard the northern lights did i like try to do the northern lights one I don't know. I don't think so. yeah jesse definitely write both of those down a new york city box what would that be so many directions you could do that let's see two four six eight ten twelve <laughs> Well, like a Brooklyn Heights box. <laughs> Actually, Rachel's in Queens. <laughs> That'd be funny. Just have Rachel take pictures of everything she walks by in a day and then make a box out of that. Three, four. Katie said she thinks Neelix is a Northern Lights 
six. Yes, Neelay did one. Yes, that's what I. My, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, our last strand of these opaque mix is so cool. Thirteen. But I'm not confident I actually did that right. Six, nine, twelve. We got Sarah Lovecraft this Friday. We are doing looming 101 using the beetle on loom. So you're going to want like a standard size loom. You don't need that many things. You'll need the standard size loom. You can also get these things after the class. You just want to like watch how it's done and then pick up some of the supplies. Um, I don't carry the loom. So that's something you'll, you'll have to, you can get from beetle on online, Michaels, whatnot. Um, so you can get the loom and then you'll need some 10 pound hemp. You'll need some fire line, any size or color, basically beading thread, um, but not stringing wire like Softflex. You want fire line, hemp, and then you're gonna need beads around like five or six millimeter. Um, Sarah's actually gonna be using, I sent her a mix of the six millimeter fire polish, and I'm gonna challenge her to use the mix of them in her looming project on Friday assuming her package gets to her. Katie says, can I add something from today's live sale um, to my order or is it too late? Um, yeah, Katie, if you've already checked out, you can definitely order, place a new order. We'll ship it out together. We always do give store credit for any extra shipping charges. So yes, totally. Um, also the, Katie, what would be helpful? You don't have to watch the live sales live. You can watch the replays. They post to the, the, the Facebook page that you're on right now. And you can watch the replay. It means more things might be sold out, but you can still snag what's left because those live sales are still shoppable after the fact. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13. Y'all, we're making dents in these. 408, we could do this for maybe another 15 or so minutes. The longer I do this, the more people get off work and come hang with us. Yeah, Friday with Sarah should be a lot of fun. That's 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, if you want to mark that on your calendar. I'm sure Sarah and I will each send out a text blast also. Jesse, maybe you can post a link to the join samsbeadshop.com that folks want to join the tech, the Sam's Beach Shop text list. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen. Let's double check that one. Oh, I think I put a double. I put two of the same one. Opening up his package just day to day. What do you what do you buy? Cheese. Chris, Chris King, Chris Lewis King, you got your package. You gotta tell us what your favorite bead in that package is as soon as you can. Um Lynn, this is like a micro version of assembling the bead boxes. <laughs> Except very micro. <laughs> I thought you might say something like that. There. And, and nothing has to be bagged on its own or tagged. So, you know, micro, yeah, micro. Different. This is a little different. A little different. All right, two. Let's make a couple more and then see, throw some questions at me. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What do we have a lot of left? A lot of green. Thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Somebody wants to know if you're going to sing. Uh, probably not right now. <laughs> oh, nope. <laughs> probably. If, if, if you buy the rest of the six millimeters, <laughs> then maybe. 
One, two, three. No, we still have six millimeter. We have so many. Two, three. I bought. I was like, yeah, sure. I'll take all that you all that you have. Or are you, okay, we just said we have ninety-seven packs of six millimeter. Yeah, I went a little crazy, and that's in comparison to being sold out of the five millimeter. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's double check that one. Wait, what's that song? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, those are numbers. What? Those are numbers. Yeah, but they're the. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's from a musical. Someone needs to help me name this musical. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Billy Elliot. That's what that is. One of the big numbers. The kids are all singing. The, the, I don't know why they're, I, I don't remember why, but hey, look, I sang, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Two. What's. Uh, I only studied Italian for like two years. Oh, geez. <laughs> and then I started, then I've been speaking more, like a little bit more Spanish lately. The languages have combined in my brain. So, like, I literally am trying to think of one to ten. I'm thinking of like. Un, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, dieci. All right, we got through it, but one might have been a little off. Billy, did you have to take normal classes too, besides just music classes? Did you have to take like history and. Is this a question from Lynn? Science and all that kind of stuff. Four, six, hold on. I would love to answer this question, but I can't multitask. <laughs> Two, four, Six, eight, nine. We need more beads. 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, I did a lot. So Juilliard was a lot of music classes. And then it was a mix from there. So we did, I had, there were liberal arts courses. So I had like ethics courses. Math, um, science. No, no maths. No, no, no maths, as the British say. Um, no, it was all more in the humanities side of things. I mean, music theory is essentially a math class. And then ear training is also, I got real good at rhythm. Put a complex rhythm in front of me and I will attack it. Um, but, what? Zoomie fockers. What's that? That's a particular kind of music. Four, six, eight, nine. It, it, it like alternates between 4-4 four, four and 3-4. Four. Oh, nice. We love a changing meter. Kathy says sing them in Italian. <laughs> oh, Kathy. I'm, I'm, music theory also kicked my butt, Kathy, but I did learn a lot. 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Did you have to play an instrument? Um... The only, no, I did not have to play an instrument, but I did have to take piano class. So yes, I, I, that, I, yes, I think it's a pick me instrument. But I had to take piano. I did not like practicing for piano class because I already had a million other things to practice for. Um, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Jesse is coming up with more ideas. Night in Paris. Yeah. Did you just come up with that? Yeah. Petty? Oh, French inspired box. Yeah. We, we could go to the south of France and just like hang, hang out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> You're okay? <laughs> We're going to France for no reason. They don't really sell a lot of, sell a lot of beads there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Adopt a dog right now. Seven. What kind of dog would it be? <gasps> Nine, ten. Great question. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Is that is this a Lynn question? Yeah. 
Yes. Lynn, you're coming up with great questions. Six. You said you keep looking at websites and dogs. <laughs> if I were to adopt a dog right now, <laughs> um, what dog would I get? <laughs> My roommate said it's sitting right next to me, glaring at me. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, she heard me. Eight, nine, <laughs> ten, uh, eleven, twelve. Uh, I need more greens. God, I don't know. I'm not that particular. The dog just needs to be nice and, like, I don't know, not too big because I feel like I would get really tired trying to take care of a really big dog. Four, six, eight. 10, 12, 13. I'm friends with my old neighbor's dog, and he's massive, and he's so much effort to take on a walk, because he's so strong, and, like, he's pretty well trained, but, like, if he sees food or a skateboarder, you have to fight him to, to stop him from running off. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Susie, 9, 10. Right? 10. Susie, I have a golden retriever. Oh, I love Goldens. Goldens are beautiful creatures. I grew up with pugs. <laughs> so I do have an affinity for pugs, but they're kind of kind of a dumb dog. <laughs> like they're sweet, but they're kind of lazy. <laughs> I do, but I of course love them very much. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. That neighbor's dog is a pit and he's just the sweetest boy with just the biggest heart and I love him dearly. But pits are very strong and I very, would be very tired. So again, smaller dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Y'all, we might finish this. We might finish this. Can you see that these are shrinking? One, two, three. Four. Let's do more different of a green. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, we need one more, 13, hey Donna, how are you doing today? 14. I've also finally started to like cats. I didn't really know how to deal with cats before, or like how to let them pet me, <laughs> how to let them, how to let them let me pet them. <laughs> There we go. Nailed it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Am I counting wrong? I think I, I just feel like I just typed all. <laughs> I feel like I just said eleven, ten, eleven. Um, we're, we're gonna check this one. Oh, those strands are the same. I don't like that. <laughs> how much are the beads going for and how does this work oh hey Cindy um, so if you actually want to purchase any of these you do have to head over to our Facebook page because I see that you're commenting on YouTube we have the Facebook page set up that you can comment to purchase the beads I'm working on um, so head over there let me know when you're there and I can explain it two four six eight 10, 12, 13. Kathy says smooth. Thank you, Kathy. How you doing over there in Knoxville, Tennessee? You make any more charcuterie boards? Kathy made me a charcuterie board when I went up to visit her when she was in California. I brought the hummus. She brought the lava bread that was covered in cheese. Oh boy, my lactose intolerant. Oh boy, was that delicious. Box with wine <gasps> and leaves. A wine box. 
your monthly wine box. <laughs> Jesse, write the wine box. That was Patsy. Thank you, Patsy. Patsy on yesterday's live still said, I've never been here before. Ha ha. <laughs> Eight, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now I'm running low on pinks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. Making the last few is going to be real tricky. I'm going to have to see if I have any more bonus strands I can mix in. I want them all to be real nice. I got to meet the folks who have already gotten the first batch of these, and they were nice. So I got to I gotta keep up the standards. Who made those? Miranda made the first batch. Wow. And she spent a whole lot of time mixing up the strands. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, what else do we have with them here, 13, who's beating right now, is Andrea, are you still here, are you still beating your skull earrings? Not skulls, owl earrings, excuse me. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, Jesse, I went to a dog park in the city the other day. I went to, you know, DeBose Triangle? Yeah. There's like a lovely park there that like is basically a dog park. There's no fences around it, but everyone lets their dog off leash. And so I just sat down and all these dogs would just come up to me and it was literally heaven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I need another orange tone. There we go. I think that's different. 12. 13. Let's double check that one. Kathy said, I've been putting class on bracelets. Finish the one you saw the beginning of. Heck yeah, Kathy. Wait, you finished the, your Starry Night bracelet? Oh my god. What sti was that your peyote stitch one? Two, four... Six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Oh my god, y'all, we're finishing this. We are so close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. See, now the bins are starting to balance out a bit. So it's like it starts to change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. I'm also gonna run out of tub soon. Two, three, four. Five, yes, six, seven, eight, nine. Lynn has a, a Lynn has a curiosity question. She wants to know what everyone does in their day job. I think we also have some folks in the community who are retired, also. So, if you're retired, let us know what you used to do, or your favorite way to spend your time right now. Where were we? Two. Four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
y'all, this is getting trickier. But it's like a, this is becoming an extra challenge now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Chris Lewis King was a band director. <laughs> Jesse. Yes, Jesse. <laughs> but what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh my goodness. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, there's another calling here I can steal, 13. Passing off people with their moves. Oh. That's, hey, Pass, you're in California, right? You're not too far from the shop. 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna start doing some semi ones just to try to get some variants so I can update these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to go digging for some more strands. Automobile restoration. Automobile restoration. Oh my goodness. Auto documentation specialist. Wow. There's such a variety. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I need to pause because I need to go see if I have any more strands. Or I have to start rearranging some of these. Because look, I'm out of some of my bright colors here. Yeah. Hold please. Let's see if I have more strands hiding. Or right, I have to go digging. So we might as well pause it here. So Everyone, thanks for joining today. I know this was random, but thanks for hanging with me. You made this a lot of fun. Um, I hope everyone has a lovely Tuesday. What's today? Um, it is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Yes, it is. I know. <laughs> so everyone, I hope everyone has a good rest of your Tuesday. Um, and what's coming up in the shop? Tomorrow, Rachel and I are gonna unbox the October box, I think at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. And then Thursday, we've got a live sale at 5 p.m. And Friday, Sarah's here, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. So we've got something every day the rest of this week. And then we're taking, then we take the weekend off here at the shop. <laughs> Weeks are busy. So thanks all for joining. I hope if you got one of these that you love the packet, I'm gonna do my best to make sure every single one is beautiful and signing off. Bye, everyone.